mission. I know you're wishing that you could let your head down and mirror my mission. So why you worry? Hello, welcome to Two Mad Beans Podcast. A new week, a new episode. And today I have a lovely friend. Uh, I've known this lady for a very long time, Angel Brasso. I admire her from afar and close. And today, finally, I've met her again. And I'm about to discuss a topic that she has so much knowledge on. The essence of social media etiquette for businesses. Angel, what's up? All good, Pedro. How are you doing? I'm blessed. It's been years. I know, like forever. Yeah, and I've been dying to <laughs> meet you again so that we have a discussion. Okay, so you finally do. Yeah. Let's roll, let's roll. So, Angie. Yes. Uh, the essence of social media etiquette for businesses. Mm-hmm. Before we start the whole uh, questions and answers, uh, social media, how impactful has social media been since it came? Well, let's just say that first when social media came, it seemed like just a few people knew about it. Mm -hmm. But now social media is everywhere. Mm -hmm. The rate at which everybody is getting on this train, it's just absurd or silly if you are a person in a business Mm -hmm. and you refuse to take advantage of this. True. Because now we have, you can share pictures, you can exchange um, stories, you can uh, feature on blog posts. It's like the... Uh, how do I call this? The opportunity there is limitless. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it is, everybody should just get on social media. Yeah, you can't do that without social media. <laughs> well, yeah, some people choose not to, but the long run they get back there. So. True. So, if I was, this is our first question. How pivotal has social media been to the growth of businesses? Well, some businesses I know will argue that, Mm -hmm. well, social media hasn't done anything for us. It is not good for our field. It is not good for our industry. Mm. Yes. There are businesses like that. Yeah, there are businesses like that. They think that their clientele or their client is not on social media. But the thing is, it is not really about what some people don't understand is, it's not, you just don't go there and the sales keep coming. Mm -hmm. They just Mm -hmm. come. You have to build a momentum. You have to create a community. And with gradual process, okay, and commitment and consistency, you actually grow that community Mm -hmm. into conversions where people will actually come and buy something from you. Mm -hmm. You get it? Yeah. So to your question, I would say that social media has given businesses the opportunity to easily connect with their clients, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. get customer feedback, Mm -hmm. engage with customers, offer customer support, and even have a wide marketplace. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They have the opportunity to engage with influencers, um, share their products, announce their products without having, do, uh, having to do a lot of commercials. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I get you. So, like a friend of mine was discussing an, an issue with a friend of mine concerning online sales. And she was like, yo, this whole thing is like a mirage. Mm-hmm. You lose a lot of money when you want to sell things on social media. So, so I think this particular topic will help a lot. Well, I um, hope she'll change her yeah, mind. Yeah, she'll change her mind. Is. So are there statistics to show how big companies invest in human resources on acquiring social media skills? Okay, so what I'll say about this is I don't have any stats now, mm-hmm. but a company that invests in public relations is a company that will definitely invest in social media. Mm-hmm. Because... If you're a company who has PR, then you have professionals who yeah. are willing to uh, present your brand very nicely <laughs> online. So mm-hmm. if you invest in your public relations, it is so easy to just have your social media booming. Yeah, true. And I will talk about a case of this um, Southwest Airlines in the USA who I did a bit of a crisis management research on. Okay. Uh, well, their PR department was so solid that when they had a case, okay, of a, a somebody falling out of the plane, being caught up in something, they just had their CEO use YouTube to communicate the issue, share how they feel about the whole thing. Wow. So that is a company who, who understand public relations, mm-hmm. and they understand that public relations is connected to social media, and they have invested in it, and oh. they had something ready to share. True. Yes. That's, that's interesting. Mm-hmm. So what is social media etiquette? Well, (laughs) social media etiquette is just like social etiquette where you are taught how to behave Mm -hmm. around people. Mm -hmm. But with this, it basically has to do with the guidelines that individuals and companies use to preserve their online reputation. Mm -hmm. So it is how you communicate. It has to do with what you say. 
Some people don't understand that when you are handling a business, you can't say that I will get back to you. No, we will uh. get back to you shortly because it's a collective. It's not about you. Mm. It's not personal. It's business. So your communication, spell it. You don't use those short forms. I cannot stand them. Yeah, the shorthand. Have, then yeah. you write HV. HV. What is that? You cannot do that <laughs> with businesses. Yeah, true. And with businesses too, you cannot just keep tagging just about anybody. You should be creative about the way you go about things. Mm -hmm. So that is just, so it's your language. It's your, even your response to uh, things on social media and the, your choice of words and actions over there. Before we go to the next question, then, so with the etiquette, do you have a school that people can go to and learn all these basic things? Well, I do not think there is a school here. I don't know if you've heard of Social Media Ghana <laughs> no. or Social Media University of Ghana or something. I don't know if you've heard anything <laughs> like that. No. I think some of us just have to take this, uh, use this opportunity to educate others. That's mm -hmm. all. Yeah, true. So how relevant is equipping oneself with social media etiquette? Oh, it's 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 amazing. Something everybody should do. You know, some companies actually have policies, social media policies. Mm -hmm. So if you're a company who understands social media, you understand that equipping your employees or your workers in this social media etiquette will empower them. Yeah, true. Let me go back to Southwest Airlines. I love them a lot. Okay. When the crisis happened, the entire uh, employees, okay, mm -hmm. all of them were saying the same thing. Mm, you get it? Yeah. They were saying the same thing. Nothing was amiss. So if you have uh, a social media etiquette policy or you train your workers in this, then it means that you're empowering them. Mm -hmm. They can represent your brand. They can talk about your brand. They can advocate for your brand. And they will know exactly what to say. Yeah, true, true, true. Then, when you follow etiquette, professionalism is something that is somewhat lost in Ghana. You should go to a restaurant and mm. you'll find out. Yeah, true. Even in our banks, you will see it there. So, if you are a brand who has this etiquette, you're, it's, it gives you this rep, like you are a professional. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then, one other thing too is that when you are, uh, you are courteous about what you share out there and you are honest and it makes you authentic, you are the brand everybody else will be looking up to. Yeah, you get it? Yeah. And that's how every company should be. You should be a thought leader. Yeah, true, yes. true, true. No, mm. Very, very true. I like the way you said they, they were all talking the same thing. Oh, yes, that's, they were. That's really they cool. Were. It was really amazing. That's really cool. I tried buying something online sometime back and I got to one guy in their inbox. The guy said, I'll get back to you. They didn't tell me to get back. I went again then. <laughs> and that guy said, Oh, call me, call me us on, call us on this number rather. What's up, us on this number? And the the whole yeah, information was messed up. No, I like what you're teaching. Be like that. Yeah, can you give us some of some social media etiquette mistake people don't really know they do? Oh goodness! Well, this one, you know what I'm gonna do. I'm going to give you some for personal mm -hmm. because as much as we are doing business, people have to know. Yeah, individuals to have to learn something from it. So let me just start with the personal, then we move on to the business. Sure. Okay, so number one. Please don't complain about your boss on social media. <laughs> Goodness, everybody's like on social media. Mm. Okay, even if it's not your boss, your boss's friend's friend's friend will be there and yeah. they will hear what you say. Yeah. So how would you feel if you go back to the office and they say you are fired? True, true, ah. true. true. Then I spoke about the tagging of your friends. If I look like Chewbacca, <laughs> you know <laughs> <laughs> if I look at you, but uh, I don't want to be posted all over social yeah. media. So personal etiquette, please ask me before you tag me. Tag me. Yeah, yeah. Then some people overshare, like some of them, sorry to say, but it's like maybe know the color of panties they wear for you. <laughs> Thank you very much. We are not interested. <laughs> Keep that to yourself. <laughs> then we also, uh, please stop, follow for follow. Follow back. Follow you back. See that yeah. on Twitter. Twitter. Uh, follow back. Not. Follow back. Yeah. No, please don't do that. Even if you need uh, followers, please act classy. Mm. Then, um, how do you call it? People actually lie about who they are on social media. Don't misrepresent yourself, especially if you are trying to become a brand or you mm. have plans of being in the forefront at some point in your life. Yeah. Don't misrepresent yourself. Mm. Look, honesty is sexy. It's beautiful. Just keep to that. Yeah. yeah. Then, uh, other thing, like, for instance, LinkedIn. Maybe you're looking for a business. 
please fill out all the, uh, all the details on your profile. Fill them out. Don't leave them blank. It just shows how unserious you are. Then uh, pick a brand name that represents you well. Be careful the kind of usernames you use. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So now back to business. Business. Okay. So people think that if you post like 10 times a day about your business, it's cool. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not. You can post frequently, but I mean frequently in a week, not in a day. In a day, okay. Just to post maybe twice a day. Don't do 10, please. You become annoying. Yeah, true. Then some people overdo the hashtags. Ah, a place like um, Facebook, hashtags don't really work much. Mm. No. Twitter. I don't know if you have, because I have observed it with some companies whose social media accounts I manage. When I use, uh, how do you call it, hashtags on Facebook, it doesn't work much. When I leave it blank like that, it goes far. Wow. But when I use hashtags on Instagram, you know it will, it yeah, will, it will work. Yeah, yes. yeah. So yeah. know which, which um, social media, yes, and what uh, their, how do you call it, what their policies or their stuff are over there. Yeah. Then people ignoring negative comments. Mm. If you're a business, never and ever let a negative comment have the last say on your stuff. Or deleting negative comments. You know that people are watching. People have already seen Yeah, it. people delete that, you know. Yes. No, come back and respond to it. If you are at fault, be honest. Apologize. Mm. And provide them with a solution. Wow. You get it? Wow. Don't just leave it like that. Or people choose not to even respond or acknowledge people's mm. messages at all. Yeah. Please, it's not nice. Wow. Respond. Even if it is just saying thank you. Just go for it. Wow. Then people do a lot of promos and sales. Buy this, buy that, buy that. You are not giving me any information. Look, your social media posting, it's its just an etiquette as a company. Give us 80% information mm-hmm. and 20 sales. Because the more you provide us with um, solutions to our problems, the more we, th- we believe you care about us. And when you care about us, we want to be part of you. Mm. And that is where the sales come in. Oh, okay. Then don't, please, this is my... Oh, this is one I cannot stand. <laughs> you message a person for the first time. Then a person responds, a business account. And they tell you, thank you, babe. Oh. Welcome, dear. Oh. Hi, B. Oh, my goodness. I'm not your boyfriend or your <laughs> girlfriend. I'm not even your friend. <laughs> be professional. You can be so professional without using all those endearments and all those uh, pet names. Mm. Please, you can say thank you, Nana, or you're welcome. It's okay. Don't call me babe. <laughs> then, um, well, how do you call There is one more thing. Mm-hmm. Please check your spelling. We check them before posting. We are all smart people now. Or if I can't say smart, we all know the dictionary. We yeah. all have. There is Grammarly. There Grammar- are so many yeah, ways true. to check. Yeah, so true. if you think you are bad with the spelling, you can write everything in word, correct your sentences, and your words, even before you post it on social media, mm-hmm. the entire world, billions of people are watching. Are watching, true. So that's the mistakes people make oh. on social media. Wow, I've learned a lot. I'm I glad. think I think with the hashtag, I used to do a lot on Facebook. No, just use the relevant one yeah. for the post. You can have one uh, constant one, but use relevant one for the post. Oh, thanks for the education. You're welcome. What are some of the relevant social media etiquette one should have? Well, I would say it is mostly the opposite of everything I just mm, said. Yeah. So you have to limit your post because mm-hmm. some places on Instagram or something, next thing you know, it's a spam. Mm. And now there's Instagram, there's this thing where your account can just be blocked. You can post photos. Yeah. You cannot post uh, captions, comments, nothing. You cannot even like other people's stuff. Yeah, true. Yes. Then you should know the live spam. Okay, of every post. For instance, on Twitter, two hours is like, it just loses interest. So with Twitter, mm-hmm. you can go as far as 15 tweets per day. Twitter okay. is like that. It's all about the words. Okay. But with a place like Facebook and Instagram, you know that people are into the visuals. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So give them time to absorb what you have before adding something else to it. Mm-hmm. Then you have to promote smart. As I said, 80% information 20% sales. 
And some people will be messaging you in your inbox, buy this, buy that, buy that. Stop mm-hmm. harassing us, okay? When we're in- if you're interested in your products, we'll find mm-hmm. you. Yeah, true. Then help more than tell, okay? Help people. Be willing to help people. Recently, I just read on somebody's social media page, I've forgotten the handle, and she said, don't sell a wrong item or an item that wouldn't help a customer just to make money. Mm-hmm. Don't do that. Mm-hmm. If your product is not good, suited for that person, be honest with them. Yeah. That's yeah. one brand I manage, okay? Yeah. They're a cosmetic line, a cosmeceutical. I love it very much. They will tell you, bleaching cream are not for you. They are not going to sell that to you. Wow. You get what I mean? Yeah. They don't want to even promote anything that has to do with bleaching. With bleaching, wow. That's, that's and these are people cool. who who show that they care about you. Yeah. They will give you the product that will be good for you. Mm. And that is what you should do. Yeah. Help people. True. Then uh, you have to, uh, how do you call it? As I said, you have to know which platform mm. and what to post. Yeah. And how to post and even what to say. Yeah. So that's about it. Wow. I'm learning all. I'm learning all <laughs> today. So... How can one rate his or your social media performance? Okay, with this one, mm-hmm. we are so lucky that Twitter gives you the analytics. You know that mm-hmm. there is a place where you can just download yeah. it and find out what you have done. And you can download rather. You can download. Oh, okay, I've not you tried that You can download. One. It will come like an Excel sheet. Wow. Facebook does the same thing. Wow. And with Instagram, you oh, you have the insights there. Mm-hmm. You have the insights. You can mm-hmm. check how that post is performing. Yeah. yeah. But then... If you want to, how do you call it? If you want to use paid companies to, there are some there. There is Sprout, there is Hot Suits, there are there is Google Analytics. It's like yeah. there are so many of it that you can use. Yeah. So yeah. now you can't just post in vain. You can actually measure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Characteristics of a successful social media proofer. Well, I love this one. Mm-hmm. People who are successful on social media a profile, which is successful has social media discipline. Mm -hmm. Social media discipline in the sense that you understand that Rome wasn't built in a day. Mm -hmm. So it's going to take consistency, hard work, the right visuals Mm -hmm. to get people to recognize your brand, relate to your brand, and with time, purchase from your brand. Mm -hmm. You have to be patient. You have to understand, okay? And you have to post the right content and that will happen for you. Mm -hmm. So they have social media discipline, they provoke engagement. You know that when you are posting your captions, there should be some call of actions in there. Mm. So wouldn't you like to try? So what do you think? You get it? Mm -hmm. There should be something in there that is like a question for them to answer Mm -hmm. or something for them to make a move. Okay. 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 Then your brand presence too. As I told you, professionalism is beautiful. Yeah authenticity is beautiful so if your brand represents itself well and it is consistent okay Mm -hmm. that is a good one then it has to be humane you know you as a company like or as a building over there you seem formidable it's like people cannot cannot relate to a building yeah but when you come to social media you are there to show them the human side of you Okay. So in our company, this is what you do. That is why you take advantage to bring behind the scenes, introduce your employees, mm. talk about all the fun things you are doing there. So now people feel like they know you better. Mm. You're not just the scary building over there doing yeah. all that. Yeah. Now these are the things. You also know how to have fun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this are, there is more, but let's just stick to these ones. Oh, cool, cool. Is it advisable to hire services of a third party to handle a, a business social media handles, mm-hmm. what, what are the pros and cons? Well, I'll advise that, well, when people come to me mm-hmm. to manage their social media, I first check uh, their stuff and I check with their, mm-hmm. maybe this person is starting out, okay? You cannot, to me, you cannot afford a social media person now unless you have a lot of money you are investing in it. Mm-hmm. But if you are now selling one product to be able to do that, I don't usually advise them. What I tell them is, I am willing to even train you for free. Oh, okay. To manage it yourself. So when you get to a point where your orders are too many that you need somebody to handle, then we come in. Mm. You get it? Yeah. But if you're a business who is ready to hire one, I think you should. Don't let your secretary, who has to type all these kinds of things, to do it. As I keep saying, invest in your PR department. Mm. Invest in human resource. 
and get people like that. But if you still cannot or you don't want somebody like that on your how the payroll, mm-hmm. then you can try. The pros are a person who is already an expert, has knowledge about the field. Mm-hmm. The person has experience. The person yeah. has done this stuff before. Yours is definitely not the first. Even if it is the first, yeah, they true. know what they are doing. True. This person is strategic. They save you time. You can do other things. Mm-hmm. Then such a person can build a following very easily because they know the crooks and cronies. Yeah. They know the tools yeah. to use. Then they can build a larger audience, manage your community. They can help you with analytics. They help you with their strategy. Okay. Yeah. But the cons, <laughs> they are definitely not free. Mm. They are definitely not free. And Less if you need, yes, if you need a social media person, if you find one who doesn't have graphic designing, to be ready to pay for a graphic mm. designer, be ready to pay for photography. And because they'll provide you with quality work, that is. Yeah. Then some of them to limit their knowledge about the industry. For instance, I don't know everything about every industry. Mm. I do not know. Yeah. So you have to somewhat educate me too. To so know. that is something like a con. You get it? Yeah. And they wouldn't really be in your office. They'll be working from the comfort of their home. Mm-hmm. So you don't get that face-to-face thing to tell you that, do it this way, do it that, that way, way, do it that way. Yeah. Unless maybe your monthly meetings or something like that. Yeah. And some of them are uh, some social media. Well, it's a lot of work we do there. So we are a bit pricey, which is, yeah. <laughs> then you are trusting somebody with your company's reputation. That is scary. Very, very scary. It is scary. What, what, especially if, let's say, that you're out of town for a week and you haven't prepared anything, what are they going to post out there? Mm-hmm. That is, it's scary. It's scary. You get it? Yeah. Then, um, but one thing you have to know is that if you intend to, I recommend hiring a person, do a social media person, mm-hmm. but if you intend to hire one, do your homework well. Yeah. Write out the exact things you want the person to do, agree with the person, mm-hmm. then I think you should be fine. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So before we, we go, what's your advice, your closer remarks on this whole topic? <laughs> well, I'll say that social media has tremendous power. It's important for every one of us to use it, okay? Mm -hmm. But then you should avoid um, extensive self-promo. Thank you, big ego. We don't need to hear that. Um, Be less reactive. It's not everything that people see on social media you need to react to. Some of them you see, they're like, "Mm -hmm, I don't care. I'm just going my way. (laughs) You have to respect people, even in your sense of humor. Not everybody can understand that. So respect other people. These, these are things we already know, okay? Yeah. But now, at the back of your mind, social media is on a wide range. Like, somebody currently in Mumbai mm-hmm. knows what you're saying or can read what you're saying. True. So now you have to be extra careful in what you are sharing out there. Yeah. And I had some companies even go on to check your social media profile before hiring you. Yeah, yeah, so now yeah. you can't just say whatever you want on social media and yeah. go scot free. People yeah. will screenshot. Yeah. You've seen these kind of things. Yeah. West okay. African, whatever, Savage Nigeria, mm-hmm. Savage Replies, all those things. They now share all those kind of things. So be careful what you say on social media. Respect other people's space. Yeah. Uh, check your spelling before you... Post. Yes. And please... I'm not your babe. <laughs> don't customize your babe. So don't call us dear. Don't call us babe. Be as professional as you can. Wow. That's my advice. Thank you. When you said uh, sometimes you you teach people how to use social media for free. Yes. The support is listening. listen. The person wants you to help him or her through the social media. How would the person get through you? I'm so easy to find. Mm-hmm. So MJ Brasso. N for November. J for Jake. B for Bravo, R for Romeo, <laughs> A for Alpha, V for Victor, O for Oscar. You can find me on Instagram, on Twitter. I use the same handle. Just contact me. Tell me what you need and I'll be willing to help you. Dope, dope, dope. And I want I want you to come back again one time so we can discuss <laughs> something with social media again oh, along the way. Oh, we Next time, even try public relations too. I'm doing yeah. that too. So dope, I'll dope. be willing to do that. Dope, Content dope, dope. writing, anything, I'm okay with it. Wow, I'll help you. wow. So thank you for coming. I enjoyed thank this you. particular episode. I've learned a lot today. God bless you so much. So same time next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs> you try to win. Do it.